Hey guys, it's Kelly. Welcome back. In today's video, I want to talk about sometimes that you were right. So thank you guys. Today's video was very much inspired by my subscribers and my viewers and your comments. So much of what I purchase is not really influenced by influencers. It's, it's influenced by my subscribers. So that was what inspired today's video. And I've kind of done similar videos in the past before, like products you made me buy. But in this video, I'm calling this You Were Right because what actually like gave me the idea for this wasn't a product that my subscribers made me buy. I bought it myself, but th there was a way that you were right. And I'll explain. Oh, also, duh, I guess I should say, I'm, I'm trying another angle today. I have a feeling you guys are still gonna tell me you prefer the wallpaper. You guys really love the wallpaper. I kind of like this, I think. I want to see it like once I get the footage put onto my computer and I look at it. it. It is like a shadowy over here. I need a light to fill over here, but I'm trying it all. I'm trying every direction. I'm trying everything. Um, I kind of like this. This is my dresser. It took me a while to put my dresser together, but now that I have it together and I've like kind of started to decorate the back of it, this was my original vision. Like I originally planned to film in front of my dresser, but the reason that I was filming in front of the wallpaper for a while was because my dresser hadn't come yet. But I don't know, I kind of like this. Uh, also today, I've, I've been telling you guys how obsessed I am with sparkling water lately. I mentioned in another video that I used to hate it and now I can't stop drinking and a lot of you guys told me that you feel the same way. So um, the one I'm having today is the Trader Joe's pineapple flavor. This was sold out at my Trader Joe's for a while. I didn't even know they had this. So that's how I know it's good because lately every once in a while there will be one and I'll, I'll snag it up. I feel like when it's normally sold out, that's a good sign. Okay, if you're new here, hello, I'm Kelly. I upload four videos a week. I post Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday at 9 a.m. Eastern. Every Friday is Affordable Friday, so we talk about drugstore makeup. And then throughout the rest of the week, we talk other things, cruelty-free beauty. So if you like any of that, be sure to subscribe and let's hop into it. Okay, this was the inspiration. Remember when I said the actual inspo for this video was not something you guys necessarily made me buy, but you were right. And this is the Ariana Grande REM perfume. I talk about cloud constantly. That's actually what I'm wearing today. I really love that one. So I ended up picking up REM recently without smelling it first. And I keep doing this. I've done that with a lot of fragrances and I don't know why I keep doing it. Every time I do, I know like this is a gamble. This is probably like it might not pay off. And I thought that was going to be the case with this because when I first got it, I did not like it at all. And I briefly mentioned that in a video, but I had so many of you guys tell me like, no, 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 you just wait. It's going to grow on you and you're gonna like it more than cloud. And you're right. I don't know what it is. I think it's that maybe the dry down on this is a little bit better or some of those initial notes I'm not obsessed with, but the way it kind of wears, I like more. The other day I passed someone on the street and I, I knew they were wearing this perfume and I was like, oh my gosh. And I said to my friend that I was walking with, I'm like, I didn't think I liked that perfume at first, but just smelling it on that stranger made me realize it smells so nice. And for the last couple of weeks, I feel like I have been reaching for this over any of my other perfumes. It's very summery. The notes on it are quince, fig, salted caramel, marshmallow, pear blossom, lavender blossom, tonka bean, white musk, and sandalwood. That's so many things to say. But it just feels so soft and feminine and summery, but not too sweet, I don't think. It's probably my new favorite, though it does not last as long on me as Cloud does. This is one of those days where I'm gonna be like powdering my face in between every product that we talk about. It is a, it's around 90 here right now. And I know depending on where you live, you're gonna be like, Kelly, that's not even that hot, but it's a temperature I'm not used to, okay? This next one you saw me testing out in a video recently and I'm so glad that I picked this up. It is from Essence. This is the Hello Good Stuff Glow Serum Primer. This was a product you guys were not gonna let me not pick up. Like I'm pretty sure I was tagged on this on a TikTok. It was sent to my DMs. I was getting tagged on this on Instagram because it was clearly created to be similar or maybe dupe, the Glow Recipe Dew Drops. So I just did a dupes video, so I won't have another one for a couple months because it takes a long time to find dupes. But let me tell you, this is a dupe for the Glow Recipe Dew Drops. 
even right down to the scent. They smell so similar. The texture is very similar and the finish on the skin, the glowy effect, it is almost identical to the dew drops. It's not the exact same, but for the difference in price, definitely pick this one up. Also, I feel like in general, Essence is a little bit more accessible internationally. So I was so glad that you guys told me about this. I hadn't even heard about this. I feel like Essence released a lot of products recently that I don't feel like I've heard a ton about. I tried the highlight in Affordable Friday. I think it was two weeks ago when Affordable Friday I tried the highlight. I'm liking that one. I do need to update you guys on these products soon in a um, speed reviews, but I'm not ready yet. I gotta keep testing. So when I did my best and worst drugstore cream blushes video, I wanted to test out a bunch more, so I asked you guys which ones I should try, and the number one answer that I was getting was this from Milani. I asked you guys on my Instagram in the little like ask me a question tab, and like don't get me wrong, you've requested a lot for me to try, but this was the one, like as I was scrolling through, it was like Milani, 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 Milani. So this is called the Cheek Kiss Blush. I have mine in the shade 160 Berry Smooch, and I actually featured this in my recent dupes video as a dupe for the Say Beauty Dew blushes because this is just as dewy, just as glowy. It's kind of on the sheer side, so I feel like it's effortless to use. My downside with this is it does not have the longest wear time. If you are gonna pick this up, I would recommend pairing it with some sort of like a gripping primer like the e.l.f. Power Grip or even if you like to layer your powder blush over top of a liquid blush, that would get it to stay a bit better, but on its own, it will fade, but that's the thing. Like blush normally is just the first thing to fade anyways, but I would say this does do that. But it's so easy to work with, it's so beautiful. I like using this on its own, but I love this as a mixer. This mixed with a liquid highlight will give you the best like Charlotte Tilbury glow wand type of look. If you, if you like that look, but you don't wanna spend the $40 on one of the, the wands from Charlotte Tilbury, Honestly, I mention it all the time, but just take your liquid blush, mix it with your liquid highlight, and it's essentially the same thing. I mentioned that in my video, what was it called? It was like new ways to use your makeup. I will leave it linked down below. I talked about that and like other ways like you can get the most out of your collection. Okay, I feel like there are brands that you guys know that I like, so whenever they launch something, I get tagged and everything like, okay, you should pick this up, and this was definitely one of them. This is the powder from LYS. This is the Triple Fix Translucent Setting Powder. I think probably the reason so many of you guys recommended this to me is half because you know I love LYS, but probably also half because you know I'm obsessed with pressed powders. I, I don't know what's happened to me. I used to, you guys, if you've been here for a while, to, uh, tell me if you, I was gonna say ask me, let me know if you remember when I used to say a powder is a powder and now I feel the complete opposite. I am like so team pressed powder. I feel like finding the right one has made such a difference in my makeup routine. And this is one of my favorite ones. And it's so similar actually to my Bite Beauty Change Maker. Now that Bite Beauty is going out of business, unfortunately we're not gonna be able to get this anymore even though it's like one of the best pressed powders. But the formula from LYS is so similar. And this is the most affordable brand at Sephora, besides maybe like the Sephora in-house brand, but this is $18. You guys, the other day I was reviewing a drugstore bronzer that was $16. So this is these days almost a drugstore price point and it's such a good powder. This next one, again, I think it falls into that category of you guys know I love the brand, but also you wanted to know if it was a dupe and I'm so glad you guys need to buy this, you were right. The Flower Beauty Liquid Highlight. Again, I guess a lot of unintentional dupes in this video. You guys know I love dupes, but this product was clearly created because they wanted to dupe the Flower Beauty ones. And honestly, good for them because I feel like it took drugstore brands a really long time to start duping this. I know that product development obviously takes a while, but those Charlotte Tilbury highlighter ones have been around for years. They just happen to have become really popular lately, but I'm surprised that it took drugstore brands so long to start trying to dupe them. Now I feel like everyone is doing it. Hard candy, not hard candy, hard candy? Is hard candy doing it? Did I just make that up? Where did that come from? I meant to say makeup revolution, but 
They have been trying to come out with some dupes. Flower duped it. This is so similar. I have mine in the shade Opal. Like even right down to the packaging is basically identical. I was really glad I picked this one up. I prefer the tone that I have in me, the one from um, Charlotte Tilbury. I have the shade Spotlight. Opal is a little bit different, but I, I still really love this. I'm so glad I picked it up. Today's video was a really fun one. I always love getting recommendations from you guys, hearing what products you like, hearing your thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe and I will go ahead and see you in my next one. Bye.